<laughs> I'm thinking to do just like some uh, floor slava course. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of new type of training. We already did it a couple times and mm -hmm. it's pretty dope. So moving from one cone to another, using whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And uh, hit, no touch the ground, matches are lava as well. So grass is lava, matches is lava. Everything else is fair game. You could move things around if you want to move them around. I can go first. All right. See, you ready? Oh, look what I got. This is first time when I bring my choke to the Jones place. Three, two, one, go. So what happened? I hit the bar. <laughs> this is that mistake that always brings me hesitation when I do things like that. I'm still recovering from this beautiful uh, course run. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Clear? Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Oh, it's fast though. You feel warm? Yeah. Okay, I, I think I think I'm ready for my redemption time. But my finger still hurts though. Feel warm, feel definitely comfortable. Uh, that flyways is not consistent. <laughs> Gotta practice on it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's why we're here. Actually, recently there are a lot of blind catch and regrabs, and I think it, this is one of the most hesitating moving because you don't see what you're grabbing and where you're grabbing. Can we set up something here, uh, like, uh, and try to, to to do the blind catch? Mm -hmm. To do the blind catch, blind mm -hmm. catch. Uh, uh, really? Yeah. Right now? Right now. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> right. and, so uh, we basically go from this bar, you swing, and this plywood is covering the next bar, right? Yes. Okay, so we just need to put two by fours? I or four, a four by four, four by fours? Screw the four by four in, screw this to the four by four. Okay, Both okay. Sides. Okay, cool. Better dive. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I always make sure you have your battery charged. The distance from this bar to that silver bar is eight feet. Looks pretty dull though. Ooh, nice. Okay. It's actually worked pretty well. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you already linked it. Was it easy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's six feet. 
I feel a little bit awkward for wrists doing this back rig wrap. Uh, opposite grip is not very comfortable. Most reverse grabs have pretty uptight, so we have a little gap. So it's yeah, and most uh, gaps is like cliffhanger or something. Mm -hmm. But I never see nine feet on the competition. Well, it's eight feet, so. Oh yeah, eight feet. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you want to try to link from uh, eight to ten? I'll go eight eight first. So it's uh, eight feet to eight feet. It's actually very hard to understand how hard it is. Oh, nice! I'm pretty sure my shoulder is not gonna hold this jerk. So okay. you don't you don't have to be stretched out to catch it. You can catch your elbows and just power through. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not ready for, do, for doing this move. So I think just because I twisted up mm -hmm. and jerk, my shoulder didn't like it. For linking eight to 10, I need practice more. So basically the same technique like linking. So you fly up, lift your, mm -hmm. yeah, you lift your hips up and then. So as long as my weight's behind me, cause I'm catching the bar, I could either, ideally I want to get my arms straight it's a more of a pendulum, more power. Yeah, but, but for eight feet, I can just power right through. Yeah. And if I can't get both, I go right into a given. So, a brachiation. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. Okay. I want to try to do the flyaway on the blind catch. Yeah. And with that, uh, you'll get more power because you're you already be preloaded. Yeah, because yeah. the hips will be high. And mm -hmm. for me, like going up and down, like so awkward because I didn't practice it much. Mm -hmm. So, I don't feel that I. Um, fluent at it you know mm -hmm. the fly, fly away will be i think that'll get you the max distance and then if you do a fly away with that you can get 16 plus feet no doubt <laughs> uh i wish i wish <laughs> i wish you will see deep, we'll see deep, don't deep. push i know well, i'm just saying deep, I... deep down you can do it but for now ten, you know, eight feet will be just like yeah you'll you'll stride eight feet with a fly do you know what i appreciate you yeah <laughs> Yeah, I just feel that at this point we found some kind of balance between doing things that you never use in your life, <laughs> maybe unnecessary skill. Yeah, I think if you master it, I think it will be yeah, I mean, efficient. Yeah. And it's kind of cool. Also, I think you have to be committed enough to put your two hands behind the plywood without hesitating to see the plywood coming in your face. So usually when it's getting darker, I start rushing and think less. Actually, tomorrow I have more time for this. Let's do some mistake works overnight and try tomorrow more. Well, one blink and it's already morning and uh, my day started very, very early and I already warm up. The truth is, the scariest part is like uh, flying and not putting the, the hands in front of your face uh, to prevent of the kissing this uh, beautiful board. Well, I always, uh, on editing part, where it's a lot of different attempts from different angles, kind of looks cool, but uh, I went through this footage many, many times, it's kind of boring. And recently we were talking about having a like, POV uh, view, what actually uh, the athletes even do this uh, blind catch. For example, for viewer, you see the both ways. You see the athlete and you see what actually he grabs. But from his perspective, it's just a wall. So I still don't have a lot of equipment and John's dad offered me his uh, action camera so uh, first of all I do the, uh, the straight for grab like uh, usually people do and uh, then I try to do fly away uh, I'm not sure that I will nail it but it's just to get understanding I just like want to share with you guys I think it will be cool Thank you. 
it looks like uh, everything is pretty much see well but the truth is everything happens so fast and uh, I have pretty much this amount of time <laughs> to see and catch for show for trick or for like movie stunt I think it's cool but uh, for uh, real life situation it's not worth it Well, we already talked about fear factor and uh, Jonathan said like you can rub the wood with a towel but the truth is the wood is not that hard to hit but the thing I worry the most is the teeth Well, new tape. I'm so lazy to make it more accurate, but it's good enough. Now it's gonna happen. I almost promised. I already promised myself. Actually, that was good enough to link it. Yeah. Oh, I have no words. Give me a second. From the original idea, we, sp we changed a lot of things. I wear mouth guard just because I'm a puss and I'm afraid to damage my teeth. Uh, second, we put the towel. Third, we changed from the huge diameter on the aluminum bar to the small uh, steel Wide bar. Damage. Thank you to this man. I appreciate your patience staying over there and like hit and record yeah uh, I know what it takes so yeah yeah thank you I appreciate it, it took so much focus going back and forward and delete storage so uh, to be honest my opinion on this one it's super inefficient because it basically safe uh, I don't know like one extra swing which is like three four seconds and uh, but that could be the difference between first and second place in a legit competition so the idea is that with the flyaway is with that release grab is you can go you you're already preloaded, so the second you catch it, you could shoot for another, you know, 15, 16 feet off that. Because otherwise, otherwise, you can do a standard catch and uh, continuous for like, you know, 10, 12, no problem. So it's now 12:17, and I start at 8 a.m. So it took me four hours total with buzzing. So I just, I just think I deserve some food. And well, hope you're staying safe, healthy, uh, John. Again, thank you so much. I yeah. appreciate it so much. Good training. Man. You got yeah. it. You got it. Okay, let's work. <laughs> nice.